Absolutely not. Give me Revelation 3 and 10. I'm just showing you, King Short, that the Bible agree with what you're saying. But I heard you, I heard, so now we're going to get into it. Uh, uh, yeah, you good, you good. Well, we got the point. So, King Short, I want to I wanna touch on history with you. Did black people come to America on slave ships? How, how did we get here from Africa? The white man. The white man. Damien. Did we fly? Did we teleport? How did how did drones of black people get to the shores of America? On boats. On boats. All right. So check it out. Hey, y'all pay attention. Y'all pay attention. Pay attention. Real quick, Damien. How did black people get to America? On boats. You don't know? Let me ask you. Do you care? Okay, you gotta care more, bro. That's one thing about the younger generation. That we don't give a damn about history no more. And, and guess what? They taking our history out of the schools. That's why we don't give a damn no more. But our history connects us to knowing who we are as a people in the Bible. Because Moses prophesied what would happen to us. So now, you say we got here on boats, right? What you say, sister? You agree? You agree? On ships. So, you right. You, you absolutely right. Yep, yep. But watch this, King Short. King Short. King Short. Guess what, though? You know why we move like that? King Short. Because we are... Hold on, we apply no laws. Right. We don't apply no laws that right. God told us to apply. Think about it, think about it. When I'm mad, when I'm mad at my brother, what, what do I do? I fight him, I shoot him. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about the law that says, be angry and sin not? That's not in our mind no right. more. What about the law that says, thou shalt not kill? Right, right, right. We, don't, we don't stand on God's law no more. No. When I'm hungry, I go eat freaking shrimp and pork back in the world. What about God's law that says that's unclean? Right. Now I got diabetes and have blood pressure and I wonder yes, why. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, especially in New Orleans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's big crawfish. Yes, it's big right in New Orleans. Yes, sir. But the other nations are feeding us what is detrimental to us. It's set up for us. It's set up for us. So watch this. You absolutely right. That said the Lord, but watch this. You absolutely right, sister. Y'all on point, but I'm showing you our identity is in this book. They it's not in the Quran. It's Look. not in no other yes, book. Yes, Watch yes, this. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So let them get the scripture first. All right. Re start at verse 15. Start at verse 15 real quick. Because King King Short, we talking about history right now. Keep going. I'll right. praise to the most high. I'm making sure we're on the same page. Alright? Because our people look at the Bible like, like a fairy tale or like a religious fairy. It has nothing to do with religion. Because I'm gonna show you the historical fact that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans was brought into slavery on slave ships. We're gonna see if that's in the Bible or not. You said it's not in the Bible. The sisters say it's not in the Bible. It's probably okay. in there, baby. It's probably Real religion is it? Damien, you stick around, bro. Stick around, all right? Oh, he told me it's right here. All right, go ahead. Read. We're gonna start at verse 15 and then we're gonna jump to 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. He says, it shall come to pass. Meaning this is prophecy. No other book has prophecy in it. Right. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Moses is speaking to the children of Israel, which we are today, and said if we don't keep God's commandments, what was going to happen? Whoa. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. All these what? Curses. Curses is a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. Everybody can agree right. that curses is a bad thing. Right. So it's, Moses is speaking to us. us and and it's a curse. It's a curse. Moses is telling, but watch this. Stay with us. Stay with us. Moses is telling us if we didn't keep God's commandments, King Short, what would happen to us? 
Curses. Curses. Watch this, read. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, that is, so, so watch this. Give me verse 46. We're going to build. We're going to jump to verse 46, all right? These curses do something. When you read the curses in the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68, it why, does something. That's why certain people get right. a dope thing and need some trouble with it. Right. Because it's demonized and make you. Because certain people not getting right. judged like other people. Yeah. I've been here All right. I've been here five months. But if I can't hear them, they're going to make it to the trunk. And if they do, they're going to make it to the trunk. I'm going to send shit that went there. But Take that from me. I, hold on, sis. Hold on. Uh, We're gonna get that, but hold on. Let's okay, stay on topic. Yeah. King Short, King Short, hold on. This is the, the, the point. Hold on, real quick. So, curses are gonna come on the children of Israel. Go to verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Bring it up. And they shall be upon thee. The they is the curses. And the curses shall be upon yeah. this people. Yeah. Yeah. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And for a wonder. What does a sign do? Stay with me real quick. What does a sign do? It said the curses will be upon thee for a sign. What is a sign? What is the purpose of a sign? To show you something. To show you what, where you at. To show you, uh, uh, to identify something. I wouldn't know that 7-Eleven if they didn't have a sign with yellow, uh, with green, red, and orange that say 7-Eleven. Uh, so I know, where you I know where I'm going. You understand? Make so, it clear. So watch this. These curses will identify a certain people in the last days. Finish that up. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. You ever heard of generational curses? Who, who, who is under generational curses in America? We are. It said, these curses will be upon your seed, right. your generations, right. until we get back right. Now, jump to verse 68. We're going to get one of those curses. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It says, the Lord is going to bring thee. Who is the thee? Me. But biblically speaking, who is the thee? I want to make sure we're on the same page. Moses is speaking to who? All right, Deuteronomy one and one. We gon' we gon' get it. We gon' get it. Get Deuteronomy one and one. Hey, cause I don't wanna I don't wanna speak my own words. I want you to hear that from the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. The question is, who is Moses speaking to? Stay with me, King Short. Stay with me, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be hey, hey hey, pay attention. All right, you good? Don't get distracted, man. Pay attention. These be the words which Moses spake unto all. Israel! Who was Moses speaking to? Me. Uh, Which are who? Black hold on, you gotta listen. Black people are coming. You gotta listen, there bro. There's no people over there, white. Listen, hold on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? All Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? Israel. The children of Israel. Now go back to chapter 28, That's verse 68. You at you right, bro? Black you absolutely right. Because we don't know who we are. You you on point. Now watch this. Now we have to find out who this fits. Right. We're gonna get one of the curses that God prophesied. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Who, what who is the thee? Uh, the yeah. Israelites. So it says God gonna bring the Israelites into Egypt again. What does Egypt mean? What does Egypt mean? That I don't know about. What, what were the, hey, pay, real quick. What were the Israelites doing in ancient Egypt? In captivity. The ancient Israelites were in captivity in Egypt. So if, if God telling us he gonna bring us back into Egypt again, what is he telling us? Back into slavery. Back into slavery. Read that from the top. You following? You right. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. How did black people get to America? With ships. It said the Lord will bring the true Israelites. 
God's chosen people back into captivity. That's what Egypt means with ships. The same way you came home. With Canada, ships. Canada. So, so, so let me know, King Short. Moses said this thousands of years ago. And it came to pass right. 500 years ago. Teach. You understand? So what are we showing you? We showing you that we are the people that fit these curses. That's Meaning right. what? We are the children of Israel. That's right. That's right. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word.